Yeah, I, I don't think that's all, ever going to be his like calling card, but I can see 15 to 20 for him quite easily. Like as he learns to use the pull side more frequently, he's he's not over there a ton. That's why that left center gap was wide open uh, when he hit the ball in the gap. Uh, you know, for me, he just has uh, consistently competitive at bats and he puts the ball in play, and he's going to win a lot because of that. The home run's nice. Uh, the power is in there. I think it's going to come in due time, but uh, and he's just uh, a really uh, solid offensive contributor for us right now. And I think like overall today, it wasn't just him. Jose Perel had some really good swings. Hunter Renfro had a great offensive day. Uh, you know, I felt like we got some key hits in situations where we've struggled to get the key hit in the past, but it was a really good day. Shasin seemed a little more demonstrative on, on the mound than usual. Did you sense that he maybe wanted this one a little more than usual? Yeah, he worked hard for this one, about as hard as you can work for a win. I mean, it was some Houdini-esque uh, pitching. I mean, he was in he was in uh, danger every inning, but uh, never broke. Uh, they were ne never able to get one against him. Those are five, like, hard-fought innings. And, and you could tell he wanted it. Uh, he's, uh, he's a competitor, and uh, it was a really, uh, really strong battle from him today. How encouraging was it to see so many young guys involved in their rallies today? That was great. I think you, you get the single from uh, Luis Torrens through the right side to kind of key the one that uh, kept going for a while. Uh, if we're going to rally, there's going to have to be young guys involved in the rally because there's only one Eric Ibar in the lineup. The rest of the guys are young guys. So uh, I think you look at it, you're just going to be counting on the young guys to do stuff consistently. And uh, Jose Perella's like at-bats were key. Manny Margot's uh, double was key in that uh, big inning we had. Uh, I, I thought it was just you know, a hard-fought game. You, you have a home stand, you're four and two going into the last series, and you end up four and four before the last game. It's a big game for you. You want to have a winning home stand. At the end of it, these guys went out and they went five and four at home and uh, fought back against uh, you know one of the absolute best teams in the National League. How nice was it to be able to tell Brad Handy was going to be an All-Star? Uh, I let Darren Balsley do that. Uh, you know, I, it's uh, we we did it in front of the whole team, and uh, I think it was a special moment for uh, for Brad. I'm sure, especially you, you think about the poetry of or the symmetry of him coming from Florida over here and going back to Florida for the All Star game. Uh, it's got to feel a little extra special. Uh, he probably will deny that, but uh, I would think it would. Uh, and I, it's uh, he deserves it. Uh, you saw again today why he deserves it. It's Corey Seager's one of the best hitters in the league, and like. He's handled Corey Seager. That's like one of the few matchups that, like, against Corey Seager, really favors us. Uh, but Brad's uh, run through the teeth of batting orders all year for us in tough situations, and uh, he earned it. He deserved it, and uh, the whole team uh, really happy for him. I saw Terenz getting some love in the handshake line. Uh, can you just take us through what what it took for a guy like him to navigate a lineup like that today? Uh, he did a great job. I, I think that the thing that impresses me about him, not just his growth as a receiver and a blocker but just running out to the mound make sure he's got it right like he's getting more and more comfortable on the baseball field he could easily close that game out in the ninth inning but uh, uh, he's been really good and much improved from the beginning of the year the confidence the willingness to take charge uh, game calling like he's, he's a smart guy he's going to do well and uh, he's having better at bats and now he's playing once a series right now and doing a good job for us